let us bring you something a little bit different. Our studio, as you used to know, we don't usually bring you sport from the news desk, but that's because on the entertainment side, we've got something special for you this morning. And that is Siabonga Kubeka, who is ranked in the top eight in South Africa from a KZN. Sibu Busakwe, who's the 2018 runner-up at the South African Freestyle Football Championships. And Jabu Mdaka, who is the third-ranked South African freestyle footballer. So it started as a way to better your ball control. Then it became a challenge against a fellow freestyle footballers. And these days, it's just a show. It's also recognized as a sport in its own right. Freestyle football recently celebrated its first European Women's champion and this weekend South Africa will crown its national champion. There won't be any women involved but the hope is that more exposure may lure the ladies in. Joining us to speak a little bit more about this is head of Free South Football in Southern Africa Ashley Mkise and Daniel Wood who is the co-founder of the Global uh, Federation as well as the head of global partnerships for the World Freestyle Football Association. A very good morning to the both of you and welcome to Morning Live. Morning. Thank, Thank you. Good you morning. For having us. Uh, so a nice, uh, a nice way to actually get into this interview because a lot of people don't really see freestyle football as a sport in its own right. But Daniel, it certainly is. You are a co-founder of the international organization. Absolutely, yeah. Now, now we see this as a, it's been a trend around the world to see people do tricks and express themselves with a ball. Um, but only since 2011, since we established the federation, has it been recognized as a sport? Um, and yeah, young people around the world are living from this now. They, they train in their backyards, in the streets, and, uh, and we're providing the platform, the stages, uh, uh, and the competitions for them to aspire to something bigger. Uh, it's quite big that Daniel from the Global Federation is here for our national championships, uh, Ashley. Yeah, it's quite big uh, because uh, we just wanted to show people how serious we are this year and how far we're taking freestyle football. And, you know, because of everything happening, whoever wins this year's championship would be going all the way to Miami, you know, in the USA. So it's quite big. And we brought him here thanks to our sponsors, High Tech, who were able to help us bring him here. So it's... It's, it's quite big for us, for the sports, even for the youngsters and even for the freestylers competing in South Africa to say, you know what, we're bringing you the president, the co-founder, so to show that even internationally South Africa is recognized and it's rated high. Uh, Daniel, how do you actually judge a freestyle football competition and who actually becomes the winner? So it's much more than just some fancy tricks, that's for sure. So it's, um, it's quite a technical um, jury that we, we look at. There's five main criteria that, that encompass um, control of the ball, um, so overall 
presence and control, style, creativity, originality of the moves. So if people are pre presenting brand new moves that they've created, that's going to rank higher in the, in the judges' um, opinions. Uh, difficulty of the tricks. So what we've all seen here today is, I mean, everything is impressive for yeah. anyone who follows any kind of football or not even. It uh, yeah. appeals to the dancers and the music enjoyers. Um, but yeah, it's difficulty can be ranked on, on the number of revolutions of the ball and, and much, much more that, that, that is um, assessed. So there's, there's five big criteria and the judges are, are watching every single second on stage. Uh, and I suppose freestyle football is not like one of those sports where you have to go to watch just because you support a specific team. You actually want to go because it's quite a show and that's what we're going to be seeing this weekend when you guys hold the national championships in Gauteng. Exactly. It's, it's quite a show. It's entertaining. You don't even need to know football to enjoy the sport. You just watch it and the tricks that the guys were doing. You see that they're amazing. And you, South Africa, it's known for flavor. So you're going to have guys dancing with the ball, you name it. And people should just come through on Saturday and they would see some amazing stuff. Uh, what are you guys doing in South Africa to try and get more women involved in the sport? So at the moment, what we're currently doing is we're trying to roll out our media platforms, like our social media platforms, so it's going to be easier for us to interact with them, get a hold of them, you know. Uh, we're starting up uh, our Facebook pages, Instagram pages, we're following that up, linking it with the pages from the WFFA so they can have something to reference with. As you said right now, they just had the first all-woman uh, European championship. So those are things which we can use to inspire the ladies in South Africa to say, get up, let's go. Ashley, thank you very much. All the best of luck with the competition. Daniel, thank you very much for uh, coming into the studio to chat to us a little bit more about the World Freestyle Football thank Association. You. All the best of luck with the national championships and to those guys that will be competing for that ticket to go to the USA and represent the country. To